What's going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with another episode of the Darren McDonald Be a Pro Series for NHL 22. If you have to already scroll down, hit that like button. In this one, we are doing our second last episode of the regular season here in year six, our first season in Minnesota, where we got off to a real rough start and then we turned it around and we are one of the best teams in the NHL now in second place. So here we go, jumping in against the Winnipeg Jets. We are all tied up at two here at the XL Energy Center in Minnesota. D to the measles, sitting at like, what was it, 78 goals in 71 games. So let's see. I don't believe I have, uh, I don't believe I have any of the simulation goals. So <laughs> maybe we can toss something in the net. We can get our goal totals even higher. But we're all tied up at two. Let's see what we can accomplish. We're on the ice currently with Brendan Gallagher, our old top line buddy, old line mate. Bailey gets that one across to Oliver Bjorkstrand, who puts home an unbelievable top cheese snip job. Cheese and crow. Definitely not how you want to start. <laughs> Definitely not how you want to start one of those. But Jork, what are you doing, buddy? Look at that. Oh, we got Gibby in that. That's why. We got the veteran... Gibson in the net, replacing uh, Jesper Wallstead currently. What are we saying here, Chatty Cathy? What's up, baby? We're putting the pressure on him. Don't stop now. I can do that, coach. I'll keep putting the pressure on him. So the challenge is continued pressure. We can. The thing with us right now, though, it's like we can afford to lose a game. That ain't going to hurt no one's feelings. Oof, Kovanov takes that shot right off the spine. D to the Mac. Okay, okay, slow it down, slow it down. Get out in front. Nicely done. Gets it across the hall. And he just kind of trickles that one onto D. Pietro. Couldn't get a full-blown shot on. So, here we go. Back in the offensive zone. We have not left the zone yet. Come on, Kovanov. Give me another phase. Nah, he's not going to do it. All right, Justin Hall. There's a lot of Hall, Hull, Halls. You know, there's a whole bunch of them. Here we go. Nice feed out to the Mac attack. Getting through the neutral zone into the ozone. Man, did they ever just like, they jumbled up on me and didn't give me any space to do anything and easily clear that one back down the ice. This is turning into quite the wasted power play, but oh baby, can we get through? Can we get through? Halsey, off the goalpost. Oh my goodness. That's terrible. <laughs> God dang. I think the goalie maybe would have got the save anyway because he did that like crazy. Wow. Okay, turn, 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 turn. There we go. Gets it over to Krug. He did, like, a desperation save anyway, so it's, it is a very good chance he would have already, like, gotten over to it anyway. At home, ooh, we, uh, we, we shot wrong. Hall, boom! Get up. What? Oh, man, he's hurt. Oh, no, it's a five! <laughs> oh! D-Mac has been taken out of the game. Look at, I didn't even, like, hit him against the boards. I hit him from the side. Come on. <laughs> You've been ejected. You can continue to watch or sim to the end of the game. Man, wow. That's depressing. Let's get, <laughs> let's get a thumbnail of that one, though. Getting kicked out of the game is pretty good. All right. So let's simulate on ahead and see. Let's see how we do. Maybe we give up some goals. Well, we didn't, we didn't get anything. Like, Winnipeg didn't put anything on the board in the second period anyway. So, may, I don't know, maybe we can just hold them off, or maybe in the third, because their five-minute power play is pretty much gone. The only problem is now Minnesota's without their best player in D to the Mac, right? So, now we're going to simulate on to the end of the game. Hopefully, we can do something to come back in this one, maybe tie it up, force a shootout. That way, Dima... No. <laughs> Say that way we can... Uh, force a shootout, and then DMAC can come back in, maybe get a, get a win for us, but I'll see you guys at the halfway point of the next one. All right, so we simulated a couple games, and after getting ejected from the last one, we won both of our next games in the simulation. DMAC now has 80 goals on the season, and we are up 5-3 on the Vegas Golden Knights. Get around him. Oh, I couldn't get the shot off, but he just nudged me when I went to, like, let go of the puck. So here we go. Back and off. Peyton Krebs gets it up to Miller. Which Miller? Is it, like... Whoa! <laughs> that one almost snuck right through. Here comes Stoney. Stoney back to the point. Clifton to Miller. He's number nine. I'm thinking that's what? JT Miller, probably. All right, Millsy. Boom! Get out of here. Oh, and he's solid, too. He's rock solid. You can't even hit him. Can't even... Oh, no! 
Same thing happened that happened in the last damn game. Oh, but this time it was Peyton Krebs putting home number 22 on the season. My goodness, he is a fun young player to watch. I, I was never the biggest Buffalo Sabres fan, but I got to admit in the second half of last season, they were quite a bit of fun to watch, and they were actually a pretty decent team at times. Darren, we're putting the pressure on him. Don't stop now. I can do that, Coach. I'll keep putting the pressure on him. But, yeah, so they're definitely going to be one of those teams that I... Definitely going to be one of those teams that I look for. I still, you know what, because Chicago's basically going to be unwatchable for the next three years. I almost hope Patty Kane goes to Buffalo. I think Buffalo would be so much fun if they threw a Patty Kane in there. I mean, like, Jeff Skinner has been was super fun to watch last year. Finally got his game back. And it's like, yeah, with, with like, Tage Thompson and everything. Oh, man, it was just, it was a lot of fun. The second half of last year was quite a bit of fun to watch. I was never a big Sabres fan, and enemy like Razzie Darlene getting more physical, that was fun to see as well. And now we got Owen Power next year, and it's like, oh, they just got like so many pieces that are just that are just working, right? Peyton Krebs comes in, we got Jesper Wallstead back in the net for this game. There's Esteban Hall getting it up to Darnell Nurse. He's a fun player to have on your team, man, I tell you what. And JT Miller gets it back yet again. He throws that one to Peyton Krebs up to Stoney. Stoney through the neutral zone into the Minnesota Wilds defensive end. Where's he going to go with it? Oh, bad feed, buddy. Bad feed. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get that little bit of separation. Oh, my goodness. I don't think it would have counted anyway because I was basically running into the goaltender by the time I let that one go. But a big save in the Vegas end. And here we go again, Esteban. I got a guy like right on me here. Oh, nice feed from Esteban Hall. We're just going to whip that one around the net. Nobody is there to get it. And that is unfortunate. Here we go, Peyton Krebs down the ice. You're not going to get that one through either, buddy. Here we go, up to Alexander Kovanov, a very, very solid line mate. Ooh, look at DMAC getting fancy schmancy. Throw that one back to the point. Darnell Nurse, whoa, boom. <laughs> Halsey with a great chance, and then Kovanov with a big chance as DMAC is getting off the ice. And that is most certainly going to kill the second period. We are still up by one. I would like us to be up by a lot more than that. <laughs> I think I am going to have to probably turn the goaltenders up pretty soon. So we'll see how that goes. So, put 20 minutes back on the clock as always as we attempt to widen this gap, get an even bigger lead against the Vegas Golden Knights. Alexander Kovanov looking at you, buddy. We got to get a nice face-off win to start things off. We can't do it, and Letty gets it to Stone. Boom! Stoney just got mighted. Kovanov takes that one away. Now, where are we going, baby? Nah, I'm not open. Don't pass to me. Gets that one across to Esteban Hall, who then finds D to the measles. Come on, man! I got, like, 95 speed, but I got no speed. <laughs> Here we go. Hold on to that. Gets it to Halsey. Halsey throws it away. We almost got it back, though. Come on, Letty. Let, let go of that thing. Let go my ego, buddy. Kovanov. Oh, uh, just kind of throws it out. Throws it out front at random. It's all right. It's all right. Here we go. JT Miller. Simulating on ahead to our next shift. Less. Well, we're just... Yeah. There's less than 15 minutes to go in this game already. It seems... Yeah, we're not very deep into this video. But when you get the boot, like, two minutes into a game... <laughs> <laughs> that does tend to happen. OEL, nice shot, and he gets tripped while taking the shot, so we're going to the power play. JT Miller getting off the ice, and we're still out there with our 23.7% power play, which is actually pretty decent. I found in my own personal franchise mode, my not-for-YouTube one, I've, uh, I've, I've found that power play is becoming kind of an issue for me. For whatever reason, it just, like, this, this group just doesn't, doesn't work on the power play. Here we go. D to the measles. Stopping up. Gets it across to Esteban Hall. And that one ended up really close to just kind of trickling in. And Kovanov gets a shot on Phoenix Copley, who covers that one up. I can't imagine they're using their backup goaltender. So if, if Phoenix Copley is the guy for the Vegas Golden Knights, I mean, you know, good, good for Phoenix Copley for, you know, resurrecting his career, so to speak. But, you know. One of those things. Coven out to Rossi to Hall. Ooh, that was a really good chance. I didn't I didn't call for that, I don't think. <laughs> Joel Erickson Eck. He's going solo. I'll stay back for you. Oh, what a drop feed. Nobody's open. All right, where are we going? Back to the point. Marco Rossi. Back to Erickson Eck. I'm in front of the goalie again. We did a little ninja deakage. We get that one around behind the net. Oh, I tried to throw it back out to Erickson Eck, but Buddy got his stick in the way, and now Ryan O'Reilly's short-handed. 
He's in front. Letty lose this thing. Here we go. Back around behind the net. Eriksson gets it up to Esteban Hall. Esteban Hall taking off like a turd of hurdles here. Oh, over to Kovanov. Nice shot, buddy. Guy, we just got in each other's way really bad, and it's all my fault. I'm sorry. Oh, Blackwell takes it away, and now it's going down the ice. Don't tell me this is another wasted power play. That's no fun for anybody involved. Here we go. One final rush on this power play. Eric Sinek into the zone, gets it to Halsey. Halsey throws it on Copley, and again, nice save by Phoenix Copley. So we're probably off now. Yes, we most certainly are. And here is Clifton. Clifton, boom! Get out of here, buddy. Oh, DMAC gets it across to nobody. <laughs> we took it off of Stoney. Took it off of Stoney. Back to Nurse. Nurse, back to Halsey. Right through the middle. Oh, what a hit. Jesus, get up, buddy. Here we go, here we go. Halsey, nice feed. I'm trying to just get open, kind of. All right, whip that one around behind the net. Nah, Stoney, boom. <laughs> oh, get knocked. But he's still, he's so solid. He's so tough to knock off that puck. Here comes Peyton Krebs. Gets it to Clifton. Over to JT Miller. JT Miller to Chistov. Chistov, nice shot. Easy save for Jesper Wallstead. Now Braden Schneider's getting it all the way up to DMAC. DMAC flying through that blue line. Cut in front of the net. Backhanders, no good. But we kept it. We kept it. Here we go. Back to the other point guy. Braden Schneider. He's great. Kovanov. What a weird shot. Here we go. Boom! Stoney! <laughs> We're fighting. Here we go. It's us. Versus, I think it's uh, Gustav Chistov or something. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's, I don't know. I said it, and it just sounds funny to me. All right, here we go. Chistov, you're going down. We got to pay attention here. Oh, I missed. Don't you do it. There we go. We got him hooked, baby. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Lay down. I was at the end of my shift anyway. We're still winning the game. We're still taking out the trash because it's still garbage day. So let's get in that penalty box, baby. <gasps> the team doctors are currently evaluating your injury. We're hoping that you return to tonight's game. My goodness. So I'm going to be off for at least seven minutes anyway. I, if I can get back in to the final, like, 30 seconds of this game, I'd be happy. Maybe throw in an empty netter. Yeesh, man. You never want to be injured, though. Especially not, like, 75 games into the season. And I didn't even come back. Jesus. This could be bad. All right, let's get back to the menu, and let's see let's see how severe it is. Maybe I'm back next game. You never know, right? Only one way to find out. Okay, so let's see what the damage is. It does say injured. Oh, God. Dude, there's seven games left in the season. You know what I mean? I don't want to be injured. Oh, and I'm still out. All right, sim the Boston game. There's one, and it's back-to-backs, -back, so and we're still injured. Sim 2. All right. Sim to next game. Come on, Columbus. Oh, God damn. <laughs> what a miserable way to end a season. Um, we're still out against Philly. What's that, four? I think that was four games. So that puts us at game... This is game 80? Still not in. Wow. Okay, so here's game 81. We're, we're back. We're back, and we're playing against... The New Jersey Devils. So what I'm going to do is jump into this game from the halfway point, play the second last game of the year, and then we're going to come back and finish the season in the next episode. Uh, we're going to play the entire 82nd game of the year, and we're going to do a big old stats update. All right, so here we go. We were out for five games and here is the 81st game of the season like i said i just we came back from injury and it's like i don't want to skip the next game after coming back from injury because even if you have like a playable injury or something you never know it's like pretty common if you play someone with a playable injury it is common for them to just re-injure themselves Look at this wallstead guy 39 wins on the season so if we can pull away with a victory in this game man it's like we just got Jesper Wallstead to 40 wins in a single season. It's pretty darn good. Here we go. Let's get in front of this goaltendee. Nope. We're going to stop up. And Halsey. Oh, could not accept that one. And Sault Ste. Marie Snow legend Ty Smith pulls that one out of his own zone. And then he gets it again. Brings it into the zone. Gets knocked off it. Marco Rossi, baby. Where are we going? Um, you know what? We're going to stop up, get it to uh, Esteban Hall. That was actually a fantastic move. And then Ty Smith's going to give it to his goaltender as we basically wrap up this power play. Esteban Hall gets it over to the Mac Attack. Mac Attack stopping up. Where are we going, baby? Uh, I'm just trying to find someone to go to. Come on. 
<laughs> not opening up though. Oh, what a feed. Here we go. Oh, he goes for the poke check and it's no good. There's goal number 81 on the season. Man, that was assisted by, uh, what was it, like Tori Krug? Or no, it was um, assisted by OEL and Esteban Hull, I believe, who I think is about to have like an 80-point rookie season. <laughs> Even though 40 games into the season, he had like nine points. <laughs> Most certainly, Vic Weiss of the New Jersey Devils. I think we fought each other like, 15 times at this point. We're constantly fighting. Blackwood picks that one up, and he is able to cover that one for the whistle. So what do we got? We're still out there. We're still out there. We're 51 seconds into a shift. We are still on the ice. We still got lots of juice left. No worries there. I get it. To me, oh, I pulled it out, and then my stick got tied up. All right, here we go. Vic Weiss. I'm eyeballing you, Vic. I'm eyeballing you, Vicky. Nice stick by D to the measle. Get that one up to Esteban Hall. Halsey. I got to drop back. Oh, man. What is that? He sure or something? Oh, my goodness. Am I ever getting tied up here? I can't. Like, even when I'm not tied up, I just can't move. Oh, and it's offside. <laughs> I'm getting off the ice. It is Nico. He sure still. All right. Here we go. That's the thing when you're doing. Oh, my goodness. That was a good rebound. Show. That was a good shot for a rebound. 23rd goal of the season for Maxime Comtois. Here's the hardest part, right? It's like when you've got multiple series going on at the same time, it's like, oh, is that Nico Heischer? It's because I'm thinking of like the franchise mode, and I'm like, he Nico Heischer's still in the NHL. He's still playing, but he doesn't he doesn't play for New Jersey anymore. So it's like you'll start to get your rosters mixed up after a while, and you're like, wait, which universe are we in right now? Is this, you know? Is this the Marvel Cinematic Universe or is this the Arrowverse? What are we like? Where are we right now? Nah, I'm going to have to veer off to my side a little bit here. Nice pass. What do we got? Get her back to the point. Tori Krug. Back to OEL. Esteban Hall. Hold on to her, buddy. Ooh, that was actually a nice play. Nice little goaltender screen. Nice little play. Sharon Govich, though, bringing it through the neutral zone. They're shorthanded, and they're not they're not letting that get in their way. So <laughs> I think DMAC has so many points right now that the game has decided DMAC ain't, ain't getting any points for a little while because it has been near impossible to put anything in the net aside from that one goal we already got in this game. So maybe we can do it in the third, though. Now let's put 20 minutes back on the clock one last time in this video where Team Mo Meyer is in the penalty box. We are on the power play and we are out there for the opening face-off of the third period at XL Energy Center in Minnesota. Where, honestly, when it comes to Esteban Hall, man, I don't know. I don't know if I can leave Minnesota. We'll have to see. The, the thing is, I don't want another, like, Jerry Blackburn situation where it's like, I'll sign a two-year contract after this one is done to stay here, and then he won't re-sign with this team because, for whatever reason, in Be A Pro, free agent status is not a thing at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which really bugs me. It's like, when I get drafted by a team... It should be difficult. Oh, that was a bad pass. It should be difficult for me to get off that team. Like, free agent status should be a thing. It should really limit your options, right? I mean, a team could offer sheet for you or something. Like, oh, what a layer of depth you could add with just even legitimate free agent status. You know what I mean? Here we go. Kovanov. Nice feed. Back behind the net to D to the Mac. Here we go. Could find somewhere to go. Erickson Eck. <gasps> what a feed. That was no good. And then the shot ended up like... The, the shot ended up happening, like, way later than I wanted it to. You know what I mean? Maxime Comtois, who tied this game earlier, brings it in offside four minutes into the third period. D to the Mac. Austin Matthews is one point behind me. Oh, my God. Austin Matthews has 130 points this season. That is absurdity personified. Unbelievable. Anus Brodeen gets that one up to Alexander Kovanov, who almost runs into a bit of a, a bit of a little traffic jam. He sure, boom! He doth been decaffeinated. <laughs> Do you want to go? Do you want to go? Vic Weiss, let's go, buddy. <laughs> no, he don't wanna. He don't wanna. I don't think he's ever beat me in a fight. I swear to God, we fought 15 times. And he's never beat me, not in ever. Jackie boy. Gets it over to Forsberg. Philly Forsberg just signed a monster extension to stay in Smashville. Here we go. D to the measle. Uh, we just bank that one off the boards. Get it back to Anus Brodeen, who's almost lost that to Jack Hughes. Kovanov now gets it over to Esteban Hall. 
As the Bon Hall trying to cut in, he holds on to it. Back to the point. Back to the point. Back to Halsey. But Halsey throws it away, and he's unable to really do anything with it. Oh, Jackie! Jackie gets kilt. Here we go, Esteban Hall. Oh, nope! Oh, it's Vic Weiss. You're going after my guy. You're looking at my guy all wrong, and I'm the one preaching that when, when, you, uh, <laughs> when you throw a clean hit, you shouldn't have to fight. So he just throws a monster hit. <laughs> oh, boom! On Esteban Hall, and I'm like, nope. <laughs> Get out of town. Taking out the treasel because it's garbage diesel. All right. Vic Weiss, take a nap, buddy guy. All right, here we go. In the box for the next five minutes for fighting. We got a sim goal. We got multiple sim goals. What's good? Oh, it's a 3-3 tie. Oh, gets that one back to the point. They got Sid the Squid on this team too, man. It's Barrill. It's a two. Crosby to Holtz. Holtz gets knocked off it. We got it. We got it. The problem is, right, it's like New Jersey's one of those really tough teams to play against because they are accurately, absurdly fast. So they're, like, so tough to play against because they just, they're so much faster. Nice pass. Halsey, oh, gets it to DMAC. But again, too slow. They react so fast to everything that it's, like, really tough to get any kind of offense going because they're just flying at you. All right, Lambos, you got to you gotta get after that thing pretty soon. Here we go, Halsey. Halsey coming through the blue line gets oh <laughs> oh man that's getting frustrating pretty quick here comes Doogie Hamilton throws it back to Holtz Holtz at the point to Hughes who does a spinning shot and it's a nice stop boom by Jesper Wallstead Esteban Hall behind the net gets it to Alexander Kovanov through the middle here we go baby we just got to get around him got to get around him no we're not going to be able to D to the measle oh I couldn't get it across to Kovanov properly I took it back though here we go oh you got to start moving buddy Vic Vice. Okay, uh, Mr. Concussion Protocol. No call. I had, like, no point in time touched that puck, and he just started, like, hammering on me. Come on, man. Call the book. Call the book. No consistency. <laughs> in, the, uh, in the immortal words of Kale McCarr, you're a goddamn joke. That's not, uh, that's not what he said, but it's close enough. We took it from rated R, brought it back to, like, PG-13. You know what I mean? Here we go. Darnell Nurse, final 10 seconds of regulation. It's looking much, much like we are going to OT. Final second. Just turn and shoot. Didn't have enough time to get a good shot off. But, yes, we are going to overtime. It is time to hit resume. Five minutes on the clock for sudden death overtime. You can just feel the excitement falling out of my voice right there. Voice is finally starting to wear out a little bit on me, but we most certainly got an overtime worth of pizzazz and razzle-dazzle left in our tank. Here we go. Get it in. Oh, big shot. Ooh, nice. Blocker saved by Mackenzie Blackwood is Doogie Hamilton. He's rushing down the ice with it. Gets it to Comtois. Comtois right in front of the net. Darnell Nurse, great stick, man. You should play for torts, buddy. Here we go. Darnell Nurse into the zone. Oh, he's just going with it. Wow, and that was actually almost a rebound on that one. So almost a minute into the overtime. Cut in front of the net. No, 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 no. We're turning back. Nurse, why'd you get so deep? You got to not get that deep ever again. Not just not an ever. Here we go. Dougie Hamilton tries to get control of that puck, and it does not work in his favor. Darnell Nurse, nice pass over to D-Mac. D-Mac cutting. Where are we going? Oh, my goodness, nobody got open. Here we go. Nurse right back up the middle. Not even splitting the D. We got around him. Top shelf, and Mackenzie Blackwood play. gets a great glove save, and he's going to play it. We got off the ice, went for a line change before they were even able to clear their own zone, and that is going to do it for OT. Looks like we are back in the shootout, man. So hopefully, d going to be able to do his patented... Uh, it's absolutely not even close to patented, but that move that he does that works oh so often, let's do it. We are the home team, so New Jersey is going to be shooting first in this shootout. It is Sid Crosby. Comes down. Oh, he's doing some fancy ninja deakage, but it's no good. What do we got? D-Mac. Slow her down. Not too slow, but slow it down. Here we go. Backhand. Forehand. Oh, he poked. God damn, Blackwood. What have you done to me? Wow. All right. So, 0-0 zero, zero here in the shootout. Nico Heischer. Nice stop by Jesper Wallstead. 
And we remain scoreless in this shootout. Who do we got? Alexander Kovanov shooting second for the Minnesota Wild. Whoa, he was about to do a Datsuk flip, and that's two poke checks by Blackwood in a row. Jackie Boy Hughes, he's got some hands. Nice stuff by Jesper Wallstead. Yet a flipping again. Now we got the Jolly Green Giant, not known for his deking prowess. So he takes an eye. It was a nice chance. He just didn't have any room. He had nowhere to go with that one. Philly Forsberg in the sh shooter number four. Nice. Just takes a distant snipe shot. And Jesper Wallstead reads it with that blocker all the way. Here comes Erickson Eck, the former captain, isn't he? Oh, what a backhander. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful, man. And a great victory in the shootout for the Minnesota Wild because New Jersey shot first. So Erickson Eck's final shot was the final shot. <laughs> So yeah, in the next episode, we're just going to play the entirety of the final game of the season, and then we're also going to do a nice little stats update. Look at this move again. What a backhander. Beautifully done, man. Anyway, that is going to do it for me for this one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If you haven't already, there's new videos coming all the freaking time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have a good one.